I actually got the proposal to do R&B Divas um, while I was pregnant. And at that time, I really didn't feel like it was, you know, the right time. And then it came back around on my manager's desk and mine, and we said, you know what, this must be from God, and maybe it is, maybe I should, you know, take this leap and, you know, try something totally different. So I decided to sign up for the lady. After everything went on with the group, a lot of people think that that's the reason why, and a lot of people saw me on another show um, speaking about it in 2010, but I was actually speaking about things that was in my life like 12 years ago. Um, I started to kind of live in my head, you know, the group was in itself, it was hard, it was like a, a bad marriage that ended. And, um, cause I love the girls very much. And it's like, you know, you spend all your time with your childhood friends and then it's over. And it's like, wow, that's been taken away from me. So then I had a lot of time to live in my own head and be by myself. And then I started dwelling on things that happened to me in my past and in my childhood and things with my parents. And I was just like, oh my gosh. So I started to try to self-soothe with alcohol. And it really, it, it wasn't the best thing. And that's why I say, you know, like, I would sabotage myself because, you know, I just couldn't get my, my mind on track. But, you know, I, I got treatment and I went to it and, you know, my sponsor would be like, if you can go to a bar, you can have you two drinks and two glasses of wine, you can leave. You don't have a problem. You just, it's not what you're eating, it's what's eating you. So I did it and, you know, for a lot of time I didn't have any substance in my body. And I'm at the very, very, very end of my, my love letter, my, my book. People try to call it a tell-all, but we don't like it because it sounds scandalous. But I call it my love letter, and all of that is in there. I don't want to give too much because I want people to definitely read my book. But I'm very, very open. I'm very transparent because I want people to understand where I've been the past 10 years and why I've done the things that I've done. But, you know, there have come times in my life, too, where, you know, I felt like maybe I was going to die or something like that. So I had to turn it around or, you know, Things were not going to be, you know, I wouldn't be, you know, sitting here today. My daughter, to date, out of all the projects I've ever done in my whole entire life, she's the biggest and the best thing that has ever happened to me. And I wouldn't trade being a mother for anything. I've always wanted to be a mom, and when I found out I was pregnant, I'm like, gosh, I'm just getting back to work. Like, what am I going to do? Like, oh my goodness, Lord, what does this mean? But it just meant that I needed to really stay on the path that I was on and I needed to continue to focus and the reason why I had to take that time out and I had to be pruned by God it was it wasn't in vain it wasn't for no reason the things that I've done and the things that I've been through that's why I'm very raw this season on the um on R&B Divas because I feel like I didn't go through what I went through just for me I feel like I went through it for other young ladies who, like we all go through the same things. I'm no different from anybody else. We all have trials and we all have tri tribulations. But like I said, I, I just don't mind being open and sharing the good, the bad, and the ugly. Mm -hmm. I'd rather come from my mouth because I've heard a lot of rumors about myself and i just rather it come from me. Being a mother has impacted me just really overall in a positive way. Um, I'm always a person that says that no matter what, I'm gonna be true to myself, no matter what. I'm not a ratchet, I, you know, I'm, I'm, that's just not my MO. I know how to speak my mind, but I know how to be a lady about it. I think it's very important because no matter what, at the end of the day, I can turn up, I don't have to turn out. And I just know, you know, at the end of the day, my daughter's gonna see everything that I've done. And I don't wanna do anything to shame my daughter, nor myself. Like right now she doesn't know, but eventually it'll come back around and I don't want that for her, like at all. So I know how to maintain myself and I know how to, I'm an adult. Is it the decision that I would have made? No. Um, but I've always been a person, I, I never knock anybody's hustle. Um, but me personally, no. I'm, I'm, I'm not about that life and I more than anything, it's just I, because I'm a mother now, I, I hurt more so for her daughter. <laughs> Matthew knows is a grown man. <laughs> I... Karma at all? Karma much? I believe in it. You believe in karma? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want me to put words in your mouth, all right.